After learning that her childhood friend Eagle is alive, Luna heads out to save her. Meanwhile, we can see the Archpriest transporting multiple slaves, including Eagle. Needless to say, they are treating her horribly. Back at the Rabi village, Tahara informs Hakuto that Luna has headed north to save a demi-human friend named Eagle. Therefore, Hakuto decides to message her and tells her not to do anything reckless. After a while, the Archpriest decides to head to the Demon Lands to sell the slaves for quick money. He also decides to keep Eagle as insurance and use her when necessary. Back at Holy Light Kingdom, Martial Arts learns about Luna's movement and becomes suspicious. Then he somehow concludes that Luna might be trying to forge an alliance with some foreign power and attempt a coup. Meanwhile, Dona also learns that Demon Lord Hakuto is heading north, and he sends his butler, Azure, to take action. Upon learning that the Holy Maiden Luna is heading north, Satanist leader Utopia orders his men to eliminate her. After getting some info on the Demon Lord, Utopia heads to meet with Aluit. Utopia then informs Aluit that the man who calls himself the Demon Lord has entered the Beast Kingdom. Utopia tells Oluit that ever since Hakuto appeared, their plans have been ruined, with both Hakuto and Zero getting in their way. Oluit notes that both the Demon Lord and Zero appeared at the same time, and this leads Utopia to conclude that they might be the same person. 